Rock Bowen, product specialist with Timber Sled Products. We're up here on the mountain today trying out the new Model Year 24 product. We're really excited to bring this to market. This here is our Riot 3 Pro S and the new Gen 2. We're really excited to bring this to market. As you may or may not be aware, we brought the Aero 3 into the Gen 2 chassis last year. And we're really excited to bring this into the Riot 3. Continuing the use of our Gen 2 3 inch track we introduced last year. Um, and in order to do that, we needed to narrow up the rail spacing. We accomplished this by creating a new rear arm. The rear arm mounts inboard on the rear mount, is bent to come outboard of the rails to give us the clearance we need for full suspension travel. We also narrowed up the H brace. It's a really stout piece here in the front, keeps the rails straight and true, and gives the skid a lot of, a, a lot of durability. We also had to narrow up the cross shafts, which allowed us to drop some weight out of the skid, so we're really excited about that. We're continuing the use of our Fox internal bypass shocks. Um, these shocks are, have been working fantastic for us for the last few years. We're really excited to continue working with Fox on these. Um, the spiral fluting uh, in the shock bodies allows the shock to have a really nice, soft, supple feel going down the trail. And then you get into a big G out situation, it prevents you from bottoming out. We also continue the use of the QS3 clickers. The rear shock has a lockout base valve indicated with the blue knob. Well, this allows us to have uh, in soft mode, we get a really aggressive wheelie kit. Um, it, it likes to be really playful, re-entries, really super fun. And then we drop into a big drainage, we need to climb back out. We can just reach down, we can put this into the lockout mode, and then the kit will stay planted, keep the front end down, and allow us to climb out of even in the deepest snow. So we're really excited to continue use of these IBP shocks from Fox. Moving forward, you can see we continue the use of our quick drive timber sled, or QDT. This is our belt drive kit that we're super excited uh, to bring into the Riot 3 chassis. Um, we introduced it last year and we're going to continue it for model year 24. This paired up with the new Gen 2, the lighter track, the lighter skid, really is just an ultimate package. Moving forward, you can see we continue the use of our Traverse Ski and Spindle Kit. This being an S model, obviously we got the low spindle on it. But what's really unique about this is we've completely redesigned the ski rubber. And although that sounds like a really small change, the way it makes the machine handle is absolutely incredible. So when you come into a corner, you can really come in hot, drive deep into the corner. As you're coming around, the ski doesn't want to trail chatter at all and allows you to really accelerate hard out of the corners. Finally, we uh, brought over the new lightweight ski tow coming from the Pro RMK. Again, utilizing the engineering prowess that the Polaris uh, team brings to us. We're really excited to bring this to market. This is the Riot 3 Pro S Gen 2.